If you download stock images or you have to work with JPEGs as your source files, you'll have this problem of blown out skin once in a while. And as much as I like the high key image, a portrait that has lost its uh, definition in the skin is not just technically weak, it um, gives the weak impact on, on the image itself. I have a feeling that we can draw out some depth and some freckles here and I'm going to use apply image to do that. Let's start with looking at the image channels. I'm going to click on the red channel and as you see here that's where we have very little information and I'm wondering whether we can borrow some information from the blue or the green channel to give a little bit more depth to this red channel. Looking at the blue channel you see there's some information here in the skin that I think we can benefit from if it's blended into the red channel. Now the red channel should be um, a bright channel in the skin, it usually is, but uh, I think it could benefit from a little bit of this and possibly also a little bit of the green channel where you see a slight level here of information and detail and variation in the skin. Before I go any further, I'm just gonna click on the RGB and Command J just to make myself a layer via copy. This should always really be done on a copy layer and I think it's always best to do it before you actually start retouching to see what you can get out of an image before you retouch it. Also bear in mind that this is actually um, a destructive process, it's not an editable process that you can bring back. So it's a good idea to have it on a separate layer. Also because we're gonna blend this layer probably to luminosity. First I have to determine the channel I want to blend into and that's going to be the red channel. To be selected on the red channel and at the same time see the image in a composite view you can press the tilde key. So we're still on the red channel but we're seeing it in RGB. Let's go now to image and apply image. First of all don't be put off by the color that you see here. That's going to be modified. We here have two main sections, the source and the target. The target is actually going to be the red channel and the blending is um, by default multiply, but we're going to change that. The layer is going to be layer one and the source is the image itself. Now it could be another image of exactly the same size and dimensions. For example, if you duplicate an image and convert it to say lab mode, and you do some modifications say on the uh, lightness channel and you want to blend that into it. So you could do that. But in this case my source is the same image and I'm using the blue channel to blend in. Now multiply at the moment has too much impact but I'm going to change that now to just darken which darkens only pixels lighter than itself. So that leaves the eyes more or less untouched because in the blue channel the eyes are actually brighter than they are in the red channel. Now even if this looks absolutely crazy now we're just going to OK that and I'm going to blend that down to luminosity. And the colour comes back into her skin of course and let's see what we've done here turning that off and back on again. Now I could stop there because that's a very good improvement but I'm going to see if I can take that just a little bit further. So I think again I'm going to just duplicate that Command J and you won't see a difference because the blending mode there is only on luminosity not on multiply or anything like that. We're again going to target the red channel, press that tilde key, image and apply image and this time I'm scrolling to layer one copy and I'm going to scroll now to the green channel and let me try that on multiply. And now you can kind of see it real time because that's already blended uh, to luminosity there. And I think that has quite a nice effect. Let's preview that and on again and OK. And let's turn both of those layers off and back on again. Now in this case I see no need to mask any of this but if you wanted to mask it probably the best thing would be to just shift click and command G to group these two and then just put a mask, a blank mask on them and let's say if you did want to mask the hair a little bit you could just use a low opacity and flow and just mask that off a bit here. But I don't think that's necessary really so I'm just going to 
drag the mask to the wastebasket and just delete that layer mask altogether. When it comes to apply image, it's not always as easy as this, but I really recommend that you experiment with it and uh, just play around. And remember that if it's too extreme, you can also lower the opacity of the layer. Mm -hmm.